Okay, welcome back. Um, now that we've got our four sides uh, laid out and on our material, uh, next we want to focus on drawing out our bottom, which is just a uh, simple square, uh, as well as our four triangle pieces for our top cap and our four uh, feet that go on the end of our legs. So um, the uh, the bottom is uh, is really just a simple square uh, that's 14 and 13 sixteenths or 14.8125. Uh, so I'm going to grab the square tool um, and I want to keep my corner square. So I'm just going to go ahead and for my width and my height, I'm going to type in 14.8125 and I'll do the same thing for our height. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click create and you can see that's going to go ahead and draw out my um, my square from my bottom. Uh, I can close that and then I'm just going to grab this and I'm just going to nudge this up uh, with my arrow key and again just make sure it's kind of spaced out. Um, I've got a little bit of a space between um, the top uh, for our torch to fit. So I've, uh, I've got that uh, laid out. I'm just going to add a small circle in the middle um, just to allow for any drainage, any water that might get in. Um, so to do that, I'm going to uh, grab my circle tool. Uh, I'm just going to start to draw out a circle. And uh, I'm just going to make this one and a quarter inches. So 1.25 uh, for the diameter. I'm going to click apply um, and then close. And this is, uh, I'm just going to uh, align this to the middle. And it should drop right in the middle here. Um, I just drag just to make sure it's centered. I'm going to select that circle, push and hold the shift key, select my square, go to my alignment tool, and then I'm just going to click on align to selection. All right, and that's going to make sure that those two are centered. Um, so just a small little uh, hole just to allow for drainage um, if any water happens to get into um, into there. Okay. So I've got my bottom drawn out. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Uh, so next what I want to do is draw out um, the four uh, triangles uh, that will make up the cap. Um, so they're um, seven inches um, across the, the bottom length and then five inches um, in overall height. So there is a um, polygon tool. So I'm going to click on that. All right, um, I'm not going to worry too much about most of this. Um, it is going to have three sides. Um, I'm just going to make the radius five inches and I'm going to click create. And you could see that's going to draw out my um, draw out a triangle. It's not quite the size that I want it to be. Again, I want the uh, bottom to be seven. And then I want the overall height to be five. So I'm going to select it. And for here, what I'm going to do is go to my set object size. All right. And you can see this has it as uh, the, a height of seven and a half and a width of 8.6603. Um, but I want it to be a width of seven and a height of five. So I'm going to check off to unlink my X and my Y. And I'm going to make my width 7 inches. And I'm going to make the height 5 inches. And then I'm going to click apply. And you can kind of see how that changed uh, that shape. Again, my width is 7. My height is 5. And I'm going to click close. So from here... All right, the next thing I want to do is just make a couple copies of this. I actually want four. So I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V. And again, it's going to paste it directly on top. So that's one, two, that's three, and four. All right, what I found works best is instead of using up all this material here, I'm actually going to use some of my scrap that's going to end up in here. So I'm going to drop. Uh, two of them inside because um, this is all going to end up being waste. 
So I can use that. So I'm going to drop those in there. All right. Uh, these I can leave up here uh, for right now. Okay. I'm just going to move them around just a little bit. So the last thing that I want to do is go ahead and create the four feet uh, that are going to um, go on the bottom of the legs. And those are just simple um, two and a half inch uh, squares with a quarter inch radius on a round over. So I'm going to grab my um, rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw out a rectangle. All right. I want to make it uh, two and a half inches by two and a half inches. All right. And I do want to round over those corners and just change that to 0.25. So you could see here um, radius uh, external uh, corners. Give a little subtle round over. My radius is going to be a quarter inch. My width is uh, two and a half. My height is two and a half. So a perfect square. And I'm going to click apply and you can see it's going to go ahead and change that. Then I can close and I need four of these. All right. I'm actually going to move these into here. All right. I'm going to copy and paste. Okay. I can fit both of those in there. Paste. Again, just control V. All right. And then control V. Notice it pastes directly on top. All right. Make sure you're paying attention to that. All right. You don't want to end up with a whole bunch uh, stacked on top of one another because it will cut all of those out. So this is a pretty good layout. I like um, the way this looks. I've got my uh, triangle pieces for my top cap, my feet, as well as all of my shapes uh, that I'm going to need for my, uh, my chiminea. So stay tuned for the next video. Um, we'll just create a quick little image that's going to go in here. Um, I'll do my initials. Um, I've got a couple other videos uh, that I'll also link on uh, creating some other things as well that could also be used um, or create some other type of image that you like. All right, stay tuned.